before I start this video, I just want to give a big ass shout out and salute anybody that's out there taking orders. You could be anywhere in the world. You could be at home. You could just be chilling, but you are out here. You're taking orders. You're on the front line. You're exposing yourselves just like our first responders, just like our doctors and our nurses. And I think in a time when it's so easy to overlook what we do for our communities, I think now is our time to shine both from customers and from restaurants. And again, I think that we should be saluted. So before I start the video, I just wanted to salute you. What up? This your boy, Bentley Coop, DoorDash Diaries, T3D, the one-stop shop for tips, tricks, and strategies to help you dominate with DoorDash. In this video, I'm going to give you five ways to protect yourself against getting sick while you're out here making deliveries. And I'm starting right now. Wash your hands. I know that they say wash your hands, but for us as dashes, we need to make sure that we're doing this on a more frequent basis. I do pretty good as far as going out of doors, but coming indoors can be a little bit different. And nobody wants to be weird and be trying to cover up your hands and trying not to touch the knobs and stuff. So there are going to be situations and times where we touch common surfaces, whether we realize it or not. As dashes, I recommend that we wash our hands every three to four orders just to help prevent the spread of germs and in general just to help prevent us from getting sick too in addition to washing your hands i know that people want to carry hand sanitizer and i strongly recommend that you sanitize other common surfaces other than your face the two things as dashes that we probably touch the most has to be our phone and our steering wheel and i'm pretty sure that you currently have something that you use to wipe your phone down with but i'm pretty sure that your steering wheel is being overlooked and it really does us no good to wash our hands or to use hand sanitizer if we're going to be touching common surfaces that still may carry some type of disease and transmit it to others Speaking of your phone and your wallet, we want to make sure that we're being careful where we sit our stuff. Counter and other common spaces where we sit our phone, our wallet, or even our red bag lead to the spread of disease. I actually caught myself doing this last week at an order and pay, and at another time, I caught myself doing this when I was verifying the order. I simply just sat my phone down on the counter, and after I realized what I did, I started to really freak out. And it's really crazy that you have to say this, but in the end, it's really the little things that catch us up. So creating a routine of maybe putting your stuff back in your pocket or if you carry some type of fanny pack purse or book bag creating a routine of putting your stuff back in your bag so that you yourself don't get sick and potentially spread it to others vitamins COVID-19 is an autoimmune disease, so boosting your immune system in theory should give your body a better shield everybody knows how I feel about vitamin C and I think that adding vitamin C and zinc to your daily regimen could give you a better line in defense in this time of need. They're both about five dollars a bottle and honestly are a great investment in yourself year round. It's also a handoff as well. When you exchange the food with the customer, if you can put your hand on the bottom of the bag and slide it to the customer, this is going to be ultimately what i recommend if it is a plastic bag if you hold one end of the handle super sturdy it won't move and the customer can grab the other end of the handle and keep in mind with drinks it's the exact same thing as with paper bags make sure that you grab the bottom of the cup and extend to the customer at this point we have to be real everybody's at home whether they're sick or not and not everyone may tell us whether they're sick or not and coming in contact with people in the slightest way could actually prevent us from making money as well as cause us to infect a lot of other people. So we want to make sure that we're taking every precaution that we can, even when we hand off the food. This is a numbers game. And unfortunately, the more that we expose ourselves, the more likely we are to actually catch it. There are a lot of restaurants and a lot of people who were caught off guard. And because of that, you may actually see a spike in orders in your area, but don't overdo it. Make sure that you're considering your overexposure to COVID-19. Make sure that you stay safe. Make sure that you stay focused. Our main priority is to make sure that we are making money, but to protect our family as well. Make sure that you're using the tips and tricks in this video, as well as the no contact deliveries to help protect yourself. Bentley Coop, DoorDash Diaries, T3D.